and welcome to Berwick Speedway's Total Access Show with myself, Scott Frame. And this week, I am joined with new Berwick Bandits team captain, Rory Schlein. Rory, welcome to the show. Obviously, you spent last season uh, with the Bandits. Just looking back at last season, how would you sum it up? Uh, I think, you know, uh, frustrating. I think if if that's to share the same view for the fans, I think that, that sums it up. So... Um, I think we, we promised a lot, but we didn't deliver. So, you know, we're not going to sugarcoat it. It was a it, it was a disappointing year um, to finish where we did. The side looked good on paper, but we know that sometimes on paper it, it doesn't always work out that way. But, um, you know, I think the tools were there. We just we just didn't use them correctly. So, um, yeah, disappointing. Um, but there were some positives throughout the season. We just got to, uh, you know, the guys that are still in the team and still obviously for, for this year, we'll, um, we'll, we'll work on them and uh, we'll use them to our advantage. How would you have summed last season up for yourself personally, Rory? Obviously having a season off and coming back to the sport, it can be a, probably a wee bit of a culture shock for you. How did you feel coming back into, into the, the sport kind of full time, especially doubling up as well? You didn't do it in half measures. Yeah, I don't know. Like I was doing my own bikes as well, which I wasn't planning on doing. I was trying to get a full time mechanic, and um, that was the hard bit, you know, fitting that in with work and racing. Um, that was the bit that was grinding. Um, you know, having to come home from a long day at work and then clean the bikes, spend another five six hours in the workshop, then get up early the next morning for work, and then go to a meeting. Yeah, it just got a little bit, um, you know, I got into a bit of a vicious cycle at one stage, but I felt, you know, at times I was on the pace or maybe even quicker than some guys. I think I proved that in the premiership. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, ju I just couldn't find uh, the consistency that I'm used to, and that that was the frustrating thing. I couldn't find my my consistency, especially with my gating early on. Um, we were just struggling a little bit. But, you know, as the season went on, and I think – when we got into the summer, I started to find my feet. Uh, the only thing that was disappointing at that point, that when I had got the injury at Oxford with my kneecap and then re-aggravated it again at Berwick, um, it sort of just sort of capped the season. Really, I, I, thought, I felt like there was more to come and uh, I always seemed to just be nursing that, you know, until we got to the end of the year, um, you know, always icing it, you know, making sure the swelling come down and, but look, you know, that's normal for a speed rider. But yeah, it just felt like we just couldn't quite get to where we wanted to be. That comes from as well. Obviously, when you look back at last year, we, you there was like a kind of gap in fixtures. But that's a kind of double-edged sword, isn't it, Rory? Because if you're not if you're not progressing in competitions like early season last year, the BSN series, the Keel Cup, going out at the first stage each, then means that there's less meetings, which means then it's, it's harder to get on a roll at home and... Um, create some momentum, especially in your own track. Yeah, uh, that that I, I wouldn't say that hurt me, but that hurt I think a lot of the team. We just, you know, uh, weren't getting the meeting. You know, people like myself, uh, Leon and and Thomas, we're obviously getting meetings in in the other leagues, obviously. But you know, when you you got to be together, um, and uh, you know, I can what I can say is reciprocate. You know how we were at Wolves and Leon will, will, will you know, back me on that. Where it was, it always felt together. There was always a togetherness. Just last year at Berry, it just seemed like we'd go a couple of meetings and we're off for two weeks and we had that long spell. Oh, I didn't have a home meeting. I know I got injured. I didn't have a home meeting for some like eight weeks or something. You know, there was a stage there where I didn't race to Berry for eight weeks, and that's that's odd for us. We were right. But, um, yeah, I don't think it helped. It definitely didn't help. You know, the, I think, you know, the goal will, will be is to make sure we get to them final stages in, in them competitions. So we're, we're always, you know, we're always on track. So, um, you know, the, the team so far looks, looks pretty solid. And, uh, you know, I think that should be a goal. That brings me nicely on to that, Rory, because obviously we draw a line under the 2023 season and we're kind of looking ahead uh, to the 2024 campaign. It's been a winter of change uh, for the club as a whole, really, uh, bringing in a new kind of team manager, five new signings, uh, and the team yourself, a new captain. Obviously, that role's not uh, kind of foreign to you uh, with other clubs anyway. Um, it is a winter of change, and I would say it's a winter of excitement as well. What's been your impression of the of the changes that's happened at the club? 
Um, oh, I'm excited how strong we are down down at reserve. I've always been a strong believer about if you've got a reserve that, well, if you've got a couple of riders in your team that are always bouncing up and down between second string and, and reserve, and that reserve is always scoring 10s and 12s, you, you play off bound. It doesn't matter what the rest of the team is doing up the top. Um, that there is, is for me, uh, is gold, gold dust. So uh, I think that the guys that, you know, that will probably end up being there will probably, you know, obviously uh, I think, you know, Drew moving up in the, the main body where he was mainly in the reserve berth at Scunthorpe. You never know. Uh, there'll be some changes and, um, and good competition, you know, good, you know, uh, positive competition within within the team. So, uh, you know, being in them positions as a young lad coming out of reserve at Edinburgh and then in, into the main body, it's, uh, you know, you, there's like a carrot always, you know, in front of you. So I think that'll be good for the young lads and, and then especially the new guys as well. But the exciting thing for a fan, I'd say, is a lot of new faces. When I say new, a lot new to the club. Um, Curry, Daniel, um, you know, uh, the, the guys that reserve, it, it, it seems to have that fresh feeling. Um, I know you, last year was, you know, with me coming back and a couple other guys, but it this year seems to be like a clean slate. Don't ask me what I just did, that's just a feeling I get. Um, and uh, you know, I think the way that way Stuart's structured the team and going to have the lineup. I think we'll be we'll be strong at home, obviously, and we'll be strong very, very, very strong away. I think you just summed it up probably perfectly there in terms of the the kind of the, the internal battles within the team because not if if Bastion goes well at the, the start of the season, perhaps somebody will drop down, but obviously there would be the goal for other guys in the team to not allow that to happen. And for yourself, Louis, Louis said this in, in the interview that I did with him as well, Rory, that he plans to to maintain that number one spot. Uh, number one race jacket the whole season but I'm sure you've got different ideas to that as well that you want to be racing to a consistent level that gets you to that number one race jacket as well no, that's okay I, I like five I like watching a few races before they go out so <laughs> <laughs> it's so shit it. <laughs> yeah, look it's, it's it's always a proud moment to wear the number one um, obviously I, I finished there last year but the, where I am for me, it's not about that. It, um, that's great for Louis, and I think that's you know that that will strive him on. Um, you know, the, it doesn't really matter where I race in in any sort of team because um, I know what is expected. So it doesn't matter whether I ride at three, one, or five. Well, I'm still expected to score twelve plus more points. That's you know the, you can't change that. So um, you know, beginning of year, but I think that will be the the way it. It is. I think that will be good for the start of the season. Louis a great, great trapper, um, and uh, you know, and if he's on on the money, which I think he like, he's come off such a stellar year from last year at Oxford. Um, you know, going out and heat one and, and smashing us, you know, a start off gate four, always is is a is a good telling point and sets down a good marker for the for the night. Um, so you know, I, I hope that starts off in that in that frame of mind, and and hopefully, you know, myself can you know with that. With the five, I think you know I've got that experience where I'm riding with the with the reserve as well. That will suit me down to the ground as well. So um, I've got that ability to obviously slow up races and and wait for for for, for the young lads. So look, that's not overly, you know, the top of my list. I just want to make sure all the lads are are, are ready, fit, and uh, we hit the ground running in the first meeting. Absolutely. Uh, you mentioned there just about racing at five, and especially in, in, in heat four, you were lining up with, with Freddie, a rider that you know well for, for training days and stuff as well, Rory? Yeah, I, I got to do a day with him last year. We didn't get as many uh, track days as we'd like last year, just with commitments, fixtures and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, he was one of the guys I was uh, like a bright spark of that, that, that academy day. And um he is is and obviously I, I think I see there was a double header was it was there a double header that we were there and he raced as well I think, um, but I've also seen some race of his online at Berwick so the guy knows where uh, the the end bit of the throttle is which is good you need that around uh, around Berwick, um, but you know he seems a, a, a calm lad you know he's got great composure so 
Um, and uh, Barrett can be quite daunting for for any rider when they first come with it. I even think a GP rider, you'd go, go, you, you would go there and you, your, your eyebrows would be raised. You think, geez, just one corner that way, one corner this way. Um, you know, Berwick's a, it's, it's a one of a kind. So, um, but it's good just to see that in a young lad. And um, look, he's got no pressure on his shoulders. And I, I wouldn't expect anyone to put pressure on his shoulders. Um, in my eyes, he's our reserve. You know, we'll look after him as much as we can. And uh, but I, I've, I, in his in his talent and ability so far, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he starts knocking in sevens and eights straight away. So, um, you know, I got I got I got a lot of confidence in him. Absolutely. Now, Rory, as I say, you've you're no stranger to the kind of captain's role within a team. You've been captain. You've rode under some great captains in your time in the sport as well. Uh, what what? type of captain are you in the pits and what can what can the club can expect from you in that role this year or do you just flip the coin and basically choose the gates <laughs> no, no, no i i like to depending who's in the team um in captain at bellevue kings lynn wolves um it, it was I don't necessarily treat everyone the same. Everyone, everyone is different. It, it just not just in the speedway, just in the world, you know, in society. And they're, they're a way to talk to separate individuals. What get what's what gets them excited? What gets them like hyped up? Some people like to have a calming influence. So, you know, that's why we have uh, fun days and stuff like just to get to know them. Like I know Louis. I know Jai. Uh, I, I know majority of them, like Drew, obviously part of the program, and um, and Daniel, I know from racing with at uh, Ipswich. Um, so it's won't take long. Obviously, Bastion and 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 Hodder will be a little bit different, like because obviously I haven't spent as as much time with them as as the other lads. Um, but I just feel that you know everyone's individual, as in everyone's their own person. So you approach that in the same sense as well. You know, Drew's quite quiet. He's quite laid back. You know, you don't go up to him, rev him up. You know, you know, give him a dead arm or something. You know, a bit of bit of play for it. That that don't work. You know, with people like him, where you know, someone like Louis, you can be quite playful. He, you know, he's great. He's got really good um, shit dad jokes. If you if I'm allowed to say that, but yeah, it's it. Everyone's different. So I like to think that I can speak to everyone differently in a different tone, different manner. Um, but there's one thing I do expect, and 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 not just from them myself is 110. percent um, If you're not if you're not come like that, don't come at all. Um, and I expect that from everyone. Good man. Taking your beer for the bandits a bit here, Rory. Uh, what's the plans away from Berwick this year in terms of racing? I I made a decision quite early on. I didn't. I was like one league. That's what I'm going to do. And I spoke to Scotty Nichols a little bit about it in the season as well. Um, uh, and uh, just with a lot of other things going on as well with work, um, possibly other things in the pipeline. Still involved in the sport, but not necessarily riding. So, um, yeah. Look, I, I had one or two. I had a couple calls early on, but nothing major. Um, I was panicking there for a bit. I thought I was going to get a, a call from Birmingham because they, they were leaving it quite late. Um, and I've already made all my plans. And I think I've got, you know, if they do ring me, I need to make plans and stuff. So, but, you know, I'm happy with what I've got and the way I've set it up. Um, and uh, Jamie, Scott, and everyone at the club have been brilliant in in getting that the package right. You know, so, you know, all I have to do is worry about is turn up, get the lads fire and, and, and ride my bike. Good stuff, Rory. I'm sure we'll catch up before the season starts as well, but good luck. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, Star Marshall gets him into line. He moves away. Green light's on and the tapes go up. Who's made the best miss of it? Monarch's wearing absolutely jet propelled away from the start. Rory Schlein left standing in that one. And as you say, what do we know? We were busy questioning the decision, but certainly so far it's looking good for the Monarchs. Here comes Rory Schlein off the uh, track around the pair of them. And has he done it? He's gone round one. He's gone round the outside of uh, Paco Castagna. Can he get round the outside of Lassen Fredrickson? What a ride from Rory Schlein. Uncharacteristic from Rory Schlein to see him blasting round the boards. But my God, he's looked impressive in this one. What a ride. Here comes Luke Clean round the outside. Just about hangs on. 
How on earth did it stay on? Best race of the night so far, Graham. Absolutely, you know, the Monarchs were a team start and I was about to say, well, that's the reason Alex Harkis has been doing this for 30 plus years back. The only slide absolutely going back to years on that outside line. That's what the Monarchs are doing. We've got a here, but I think it's going to settle down now. And Yep. And he's now come off it. So yeah, he's we'll off in the first bend at the end of the fourth lap. But what a round round we're in short. Yeah. Was he 38 or 18? <laughs> Who would know? Who would know? You wouldn't know from that. Simply riding like an 18 year old there. Rorish line absolutely flying in that one.